Hey guys, this is Jackie with Macro Frame. Today we're going to talk about editing your lightbox photos with a white backdrop in Photoshop. So there are a lot of simple ways to go about this in Photoshop, and I can show you in another video how to do this simply on your phone if you don't have access to programs like this. So let's get started. Usually before I edit anything in Photoshop, I always duplicate the backdrop. Um, this just allows me to quickly delete what I did if I don't like it, or if I make a mistake, and I'll always have the original to go back on. First, we're gonna start off with a simple cropping solution. Um, so you can crop pretty close to your subject, and that will give you kind of a seamless look um, that's kind of low edited, um, something that you can you know, use on Instagram and maybe throw a filter on it. Um, just a really quick solution if you're trying to do something quick and you don't necessarily care about having all those edges and all of that color being absolutely perfect. So once we finish our cropping, you'll see that it's pretty seamless. You can't really see the backdrop in the background. Um, the image does look flat, a little gray, doesn't look like pure white, um, but this would be suffice if you needed something quick, um, if it doesn't necessarily matter if your photos are in top-notch shape. Um, definitely gets the job done pretty quickly, especially if you have a lot of product you're shooting um, and that sort of thing. Next, I'll show you one of my favorite tools and a really easy way to get that grayish background pure white. So I've already got my background duplicated, so I'm gonna go to the eraser tool, right click and click the magic eraser tool. I'm going to select my background copy and just click the background area, that's super gray. So that's what's so great about the light box is it gives you a nice even background color so you can use tools like the magic eraser tool and just make things really simple when it comes to editing. So I've just prepared another document that is just pure white to show you, you know, what this could look like maybe on like a white website background. Um, so all I'm going to do is um, right click on the layer and duplicate the layer to my untitled one document. Um, and this just gives you an idea of how like this works. I can see there's some specs down here that I might want to erase um, that didn't get captured with the magic eraser tool. So we can just easily erase those. All right, so I'll take the eraser tool and just get those out of here. So these are just a few great ways that you can achieve that nice crisp white background in Photoshop. Um, really simple ways to just make your product or your subject really stand out. If you don't have access to programs like Photoshop, don't worry. Um, check out our other videos on how to edit with just your iPhone editor or Instagram, where we go through some mobile apps that do something very similarly. So check them out. Thanks for watching.